Martian Marty here. This is phase four of coding an awesome gopher game. Alright, so in the last video, I kind of led you guys down the gopher hole. I mean, I was I was kind of getting my classes confused. So I was confusing the entity class with the player class. So in this video, I will be fixing that. Yeah, so let's get into it. Alright, so first we've got a gopher game open here. So we'll just save this as a new document. So we just go save as... I'll call it gophergame2.py for Python. Right, and the reason we save copies is because in the event that you like seriously messed up your code or whatever, and you forgot what you did, then that way your like your whole progress isn't just totally destroyed. So yeah, it just saves you a lot of time. All right. So first, we'll start by fixing the entity class. The entity class is not actually an object. It is a pi game dot sprite dot group. All right, and yeah. So then, in in it, we also need to include self. So that means that the entity initiates. So that's why you need to have self in there. All right. So we can take out. Whoops. Take out that line of code. And we'll replace it with pi game dot sprite dot capital S sprite. Oh, whoops, that's right. Um, this here should not be pi game dot sprite dot group. It should be pi game dot sprite dot capital S sprite. All right. So, moving on. Erg. S P R I T E sprite. And then you go um dot underscore underscore whoops, in it, underscore, underscore, and then open close parentheses, inside those parentheses, type self. So what this line of code here basically does is it pretty much just says the sprite to initiate. So all right, so the entity classes looks good to me. So now we'll just need to add a few more values to the player class. So we'll need two more values called x and y. So X is your player's position on the screen of how far he's to the left and to the right. And Y, pretty much the same thing, is just up and down. And so X always comes first, and you'll find that with pretty much any coding language you do. I mean, X is always first, it's just pretty common. Alright, so now we'll want to uncomment this with Alt 4. Um, cancel. Alt 4. Don't know what happened there. Some I must have pressed the wrong key or something. All right, so we'll need a couple more values. One will be self dot x val. So we'll just leave that as zero for now. So uh, self dot x. Whoops. Just let me fix that a second here. Self. So what that there just does is it. It's a variable that says how fast the player is moving to the left or the right. So we'll do the same thing except with self dot y val and we'll just set that as 0 or 2 pretty much the same thing as x val it's just how fast the player is moving up and down alright and then we'll need to set self dot image to a um, a surface so we'll call it surface open close parentheses open close parentheses again and inside those parentheses look, that's a lot of parentheses you want to um, type how big you want your square. So you go width first, so we'll just leave that as 32, comma, then height. So we'll just leave that as 32. All right, and that's good. So now we want to give our surface a color. So we'll just replace this with a new set of parentheses. Inside those parentheses, you want to type color. You got to do it the American way. If you type it the Canadian way with a, uh, with a U, it will not work. And that's just because, just because. All right. So then, inside the the new set of parentheses, you want to open a set of quotations. All right. So, when for the colors we use in this game, we're going to be using mainly something called a color uh, hex number. Hex number. So, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So, we'll open up Paint.net. All right. So, go to your color wheel and click the more button. Alright, and then you just select the color you like. So we'll just do this nice sharp green. Alright, and then you see this number right here? Alright, so that's the hex number of that particular color. 
So then you just want to copy that color, so that's Control C to copy. Then you can close out paint.net. And then inside those quotations, you want to put a hashtag and paste your number. So that there is basically just says the number of that specific color. All right, so that's all good. So then we'll want to convert our surface back to an image. So we'll just go self dot image dot convert. Open close parentheses. So that just converts the surface back to an image. All right, so that's all good. Now we'll just need to go um, self dot whoops. L dot rect that stands for self dot rectangle equals a rct rect of a so then we need four to put in four values there so that's the four values of the square so first value is where it is on the screen like where it is left to right so that's x we'll just leave that as x and then second value is y how where the player is on the screen how tall I mean like up and down so we'll just leave that as y and then you want to have your width and your height of your player. So we'll just leave that as 32 by 32. Alright, so let's just run this a quick second and see what happens. Dope. Oh. oh yeah, that's right. So now we added two more positional arguments here in initiate for the player class. See, x and y, you don't count self as a argument it's just x and y so that's two so we'll need to put two in where we at where we um call the player class so that's just going to be x and y so we can leave those to zero and zero so that's going to leave it in the top left hand corner of the screen so yeah let's run that again red screen all right so that means everything's working just the way it should be so we covered a lot in this video I'm I'm just gonna get Quinn to take over for me from now. Quinn! Quinn! He's coming. Can you just take over for me, please? Yep. Thanks, buddy. Well now let's see what we've got here.